tender, juicy roast beef recipe. The perfect centerpiece for your holiday dinner. Let's go ahead and prep our vegetables and let's get into the recipe. There is no single cut of beef necessary for this recipe. However, I am cooking a two and a half pound boneless undercut blade. You can choose a top round or a bottom round. It's your opinion. Go ahead and flow with this video while I give you a few cooking tips. I'm moving kind of fast, so stay with me. Tip number one. Find a cut of beef that is marbleized, meaning tiny flecks of fat. Now the flecks melt down during the cooking process, basing the beef from within. This natural basing enhances the flavor. Tip number two, allow the beef to come to room temperature before roasting. Tip number three, use basic seasoning to create a rub, such as garlic and onion powder or herbs like basil and oregano, salt and pepper to taste, and combine all of these into a small bowl and mix. Tip number four, searing the beef is not necessary. However, it does add additional flavor to the dish and it provides a pretty appearance for presentation. And remember, we eat with our eyes. Tip number five, a slurry is optional. A slurry is made with flour and water or cornstarch and water. It's optional. Now you may enjoy the sauce as is, or if you want a thicker sauce, by all means, make a slurry to the mix. Tip number six, the temperature low and cook slow. That's low and slow. That's the key to make the cut of beef tender and juicy. Now I'm cooking at 375 and this is a two and a half hours. Now this is a quick one pot meal that captures all that love. Do you see that love in that pot? That's some loving going on. Now, once that aroma hits the air, your neighbors will be alerted and friends will start to call. Now, your kids, they're going to say, Mama, what you doing? And your man, well, he's going to come straight on home and nobody will eat before daddy. And after daddy eats, your sister and your brother going to say, Hey, can you send me a plate over here? And your daughter, she's going to say, Mama, what's that recipe? And you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say recipe below in the description box. Hit that like button, share, comment, follow, and I will see you when next video. Enjoy!